Hello and welcome to my first ever tutorial in web development and web design. We're going to start off easy today with uh, the positioning of four divs in a window. We're going to place the first div covering the entire page like this. The two second divs, the two other divs are going to place the one to the left and one to the right and the fourth div is going to cover the entire page. So let's begin. I use Sublime Text so uh, it's pretty easy to create a dome. You just choose snippets and HTML. The title will be CSS Positioning and in the body, we will place our four divs. <clears throat> the first div will have a class of top. We place the text top inside so we can distinguish them. The second div will be called left. Left. right, right, last one, bottom, bottom. There we go. That's all we need for the HTML. And if we look at the page now, there's nothing fancy. All we have <coughs> is the text uh, on top of each other, like this. Uh, the real trick is in the CSS. <clears throat> we got We have to link the CSS files. We have CSS styles.css. Uh, the reason why I why I write CSS and then with the slash and then styles is because in the files, the file is sorted like this. It's, it's indexed in the root and the CSS styles.css is placed inside the folder CSS. Then you have to write CSS and then slash style CSS. So this is all we need for the HTML file. Now let's style this. First, we're going to target all the divs. We're going to give them a height of, uh, say, 50 pixels. And we're going to give them <clears throat> a margin at the bottom of uh, 10 pixels. And then we're going to target the class. That's a dot. If it was a uh, ID, it would be uh, this symbol, but it's a class, so it's a dot, the class of the top div. And we're going to give it a width of 100%, uh, cover the entire page, uh, and a background color of, make it easy, just say green. And we're going to align the text to the center. Uh, okay. Then we're going to target the class of the left div. And this we're going to float to the left. We're going to give it a width of uh, 49. We're going to have a margin right of 2%. We're going to give it a background color of, say, orange. And we're going to align the text 
to the center. Now the right, the right div class, the right div uh, is exactly the same. So we can copy all of this from the left div and place it in here, but we don't need the margin right, of course. And then we have the bottom div. And um, we do it like this. I'm going to show you. We take a width of 100%. That's what we agreed on. We have a background color of, say, maroon. That's a nice red color. And we're going to align the text to the center. Now, if we save this and go to the page, it won't look pretty. Here we have the top div, cover the entire page of 100%. We have the left to the left, and we have the right to the right. And the margin right on the left div, about 2%, is here. But the bottom div doesn't show here. It crashes. And that's because we did use a nice little trick called clear and clear both like this. So we have to clear the both left floating on the divs above. So now if we save the page, refresh, there you go. You have the top, cover the entire page. You have the left to the left, the right to the right, with the margin of 2%, and the bottom cover the entire page. And the advantage of using percentage like this is that it's responsive. The page is responsive. So that's all for today. Thank you.